Welcome, folks. Last piece of the puzzle. Oops. I have to click around a little bit. Dawn in Aventine City. The sun's beams glide between the buildings like a man's strong fingers through a dame's hair. The sight made me realize just how long I've been out here. I can kind of get my southern accent going on with this guy, right? A little bit. Some low-level cat burglar caught breaking into the computer chip factory uptown had named this post office as a contact point for his buyer. Normally, I'd say this wasn't the kind of lead that warranted an all-night stakeout. But the chief's dogged insistence that I drop this case pretty much guaranteed I was going to follow it through. Why did she want me off this case so bad? Could the chief have some connection to this criminal organization? I had a lot of questions, and my gut was telling me exactly two things. One, that I was hungry. And two, that it was Reggie's turn to go get some donuts. Uh, no. I got us those sandwiches a couple hours ago, remember? Yeah, but you didn't get the donuts. <laughs> so, how did you get the chief to sign off on this stakeout? Oh, right. About that. If anyone asks, we were patrolling the neighborhood around the arson all night. I'm not gonna get reprimanded for this, am I? Relax, Reg. Sir! What we got here? We got someone up to no good, methinks. What are you doing? That guy came from the alley. We don't have visibility down there. Which means when he leaves, we're gonna lose him. I've got to get us a better line of sight. How are you gonna do that without them seeing you? I don't know. I'll grow some eyes in the back of my head. This is against regulations. You're out of the military now, Reg. This is police work. Sometimes you gotta pick which orders you're gonna follow, and other times, you gotta make your own orders. Detective yeah. Bennett. Going radio silent. Be careful. I'm a little too busy to start scrubbing. Nope. Locked. Stripped cars. <laughs> See enough of them. Car mirror. Now that could be something useful. It's not gonna break off in my hands. Need to apply a bit more force. Little bench. Not really sure what I was expecting there. Alright, no time to think. Better go with my gut. Do I go in? No, not yet. No, I'm not supposed to engage with the target. Just watch him. Watch him till he leaves. Not a lot of places he could have come from. Over the doors, over the fence. Gotta find a way to watch him when he leaves. No place to hide back here, though. I feel like I need something. Online news sites, they have a post claims to have evidence of Vice President Brookman's struggle with mental illness. Uh, reprinting a blog, newspapers are trying harder and harder to stay relevant. Now I want to go... Seems to want thin pieces of plastic, not thick pieces of leather. Oh, seriously, dude? Told my badge and my credit cards. Alright. Do have a credit card. Well, <laughs> I mean, this is just... I was thinking not to shoot it, but to break it off with Three twenty five, such a rip off. Newspaper, can I? That won't work. 
Uh, what was that? Cellfish Networks. I need something I can break that mirror off with. Crumbling brick. There we are. bought the newspaper just to look a little inconspicuous there. Break that off. Now, I just need to be able to set it somewhere. If I could hide the mirror... <sighs> now, I gotta find a way that... I mean, I could look down at it if it was under the bench or something. guy carrying a mirror is going to stick out like a thumb. That's right. Which is why we have this. It's the vice president on antipsychotics? Why can't I go to my inventory? Uh... Now for this... Oh, so you have to combine them? On the right track here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to conceal a big old car mirror in there. Uh... Can I just... <sighs> I mean, I don't need a car mirror. I just need piece of it. I mean, I, I don't need this whole mirror. Should help lighten the... There we go. Beautiful. With a side of seven years, bad luck. Look at me, I'm like MacGyver out here. Beautiful. Awesome. Better be careful or the mirror will fall out. I'll just stick to looking casually into it. What do you mean? Oh, because I dragged it over myself. Now we just wait for fish. Where are you going, son? How's this for nonchalant? that getting the job done by breaking orders how many <laughs> times do I have to explain to you this isn't the military Reggie it's police work sometimes you have to make hard uh oh looks like my party just got called early what the hell was that it looks like a blackout And it's back. All's well that ends well. I guess. Anyway, I hope you were paying attention from up there. To you, breaking regulations? 
to me adjusting the operation's parameters based on changes in the field. <laughs> Permission to speak freely, Detective Bennett? Not the military. What I saw was unnecessary, irresponsible, and hasty. We could have redeployed tomorrow with a better vantage on the alley. Reggie, these guys could have moved on by tomorrow. Sometimes you have to call an audible. Besides, I got what we needed. All's well that ends well. That kind of ends justify the means philosophy. Never cut it in the military. Welcome to the police force, Detective. Bennett, do you copy? This is Bennett. You notice that citywide blackout we just had? Nope. Looks like it's all lit up again now. Yeah, and so are the phones. We've got little mini-emergencies all over Aventine. Calling in all available officers to help out. What can we do? There's a subway car stuck near Humphrey Street Station. And we're getting reports of a fire over at Juno. So send the FD. They're deployed all over the city right now. We're trying to direct them where it's needed most. Could one of you check out Juno and the other help out on Humphrey Street? Radio back if additional emergency services are required. A sure thing. Thanks. Reg, you get the subway. I'll check out the fire at the lab. Yes, sir. Cool. Dad, look! Isn't that Juno Labs? Resonance. I am really looking forward to this game. I uh, I hope you like of what you've seen of it so far. It's it's looking really cool. Well, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Tune in to the next episode of Resonance. I think this is part three now. Thanks for watching, everybody.